Well, hello. Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. This might not look like a refinery, but this lab here in Silicon Valley is home to Solazyme, a company that's turning algae into diesel fuel and some other products. But don't rush out and skim all that green stuff off your pond quite yet. There's a couple more steps involved, so we're here to learn more. All right, so we're here with Graham, the head of business development at Solazyme. Thanks so much for being with us. Oh, pleasure, thank you. All right, so how did Solazyme come to be? Well, Solazyme is one of those stories, a classic Silicon Valley startup. Uh, the two founders, Jonathan Wolfson, Harrison Dillon, started literally in Harrison's garage. They researched all different ways of trying to grow algae and finally came up with the process we're using today. Walk me through the process. I mean, somebody who hears uh, you're making diesel out of algae might think it's just like skimming a pond and, you know, oh, just l pouring that goop into your car and somehow that works, like, uh, you know. No, 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 I, I enjoy cars. I'm not gonna put any goop in my car. We're starting from sugar cane. We're taking a couple of million tons of this into the front end of our plant. That sugar is then taken into fermentation. The algae are sitting there, they're eating. They eventually go big and fat. Little round oil balls, really. We then dry and extract the oil, and that oil can be turned into diesel. You guys output diesel yeah. and you can take that and go right into your car? Exactly. So this is a drop-in replacement that's more like rocket fuel for your car. This stuff uh. is fantastic premium material. All right, you hear that right there? That is Volkswagen Diesel Torque. This is a Passat TDI, and uh, it's pretty much just like any other TDI you could just go down to the Volkswagen dealer and buy. Here we are with Jorg. Jorg, thanks for being with us. Yeah. Nice to meet thanks you. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, absolutely. You're representing Volkswagen in this whole process. Yeah, we donated the cars, and okay. the cars are equipped with a data logger, so we are collecting data of the engine controller. Oh, okay. So that we can see differences in the combustion behavior of the Solarzyme fuel compared to a, a US standard fuel yeah. diesel number two. So are you guys collecting data right now? in this yeah, car? Yeah, yeah. So we're helping out uh, the research here. Yeah, yeah. So you're welcome, Volkswagen. Welcome, yeah. world. <laughs> Translogic here, helping out. What are some of the different properties? It combusts much faster. That's okay. why it's producing less particulate matters, less suit. And it also has a straight chain length, and so it produces also less CO2. So this is what you've squashed out of those little baby algaes. Exactly, exactly. All those little fat algae squeezed out, this is the product. Back in the day, people were thinking, wow, will algae ever be able to produce oil? Well, yes, we can do that, but we can go one better. We can design the oil that comes out of it. So if you want the perfect oil for diesel, like this one, we can design that. If you want a shorter chain oil, you want something better for jet, we can get the algae to produce that. So you guys fueled a commercial flight. We actually worked with our partners over at United. We fueled a plane down in Houston and flew it all the way up to Chicago with paying passengers. They were all told in advance and nobody got off. I was gonna ask if they knew, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nobody no, canceled? Nobody canceled, yeah. nobody got off, and in fact we had a number of people on the flight and it was very successful, as it should have been. Yeah. I mean, it's a fully certified fuel and, and works really well. What about the government in this? Are, are, are they helping incentivize it? Are they hard to work with, good to work with? What's that look like? They've been fantastic to work with. The Navy sponsored us to produce some of the first fuels, which culminated in RIMPAC last year. The US was running a full carrier fleet with destroyers, jets, helicopters. All of those vehicles were running on our fuel, except obviously the nuclear engines. Yeah. The Navy chose to blend 50-50, okay. because that's the, the particular way they followed uh, certification, but there's nothing to stop us going uh, higher than that. So you guys have uh, a massive Brazil plant that's going to be coming online pretty soon. And you guys have built it very smartly next to sugarcane, correct? Ex exactly. It's going to take a couple of million tons of sugarcane into the front end. We'll be using that sugar to produce uh, over 100,000 tons of oil out of that plant. And in fact, um, the sugar mill takes the, the, the waste material, it burns it, creates energy, and in fact that gives us a really sustainable footprint on the plant. Oh. So the energy we actually use to run our plant comes from biomass too. And do you think this is eventually just going to take over the diesel market and this will just be the new standard? 
Um, I don't think so. The, the world's a big place. Um, it's difficult to pick on, on, shall we say, what one silver bullet. Right, right. Uh, I, I think it's going to be more like a silver, silver buckshot, if you will. Okay. So we will nice. be one of a number of solutions that come through. We're entering that space now. So it looks like it actually is easy to be green. See what I did there? Sorry, easy joke. But this is extremely exciting. Obviously, Volkswagen thinks so. And with this Brazil plant coming online at the end of the year, you could be filling up your tank with their diesel in the near future. And that's awesome. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.